what's in my teacup for November 11th. And I have a brand new tea that I'm trying today. I have not even tried it at all. So we're going to try this out on live here today. I'll tell you what it is here in a second. Just want to get myself set up. All right, what's in my teacup? I should have a little song. Somebody can produce me a little song, okay? What's in my teacup? <laughs> I'm not going to try to sing it for you. All right. I can set up just a, okay, here we go. I'm trying to set myself up so I can see your comments if they come in. So today's teacup, I can't really show you too well today because I actually have the tea in it. So here it, I'll very carefully hold it. It's hot and um, there's not too much decoration on it. Here's the handle. That's the handle. And so it's got like a couple little inside there are some flowers, and it's the same as what's on the saucer. So it's dripping here on my computer. Let me get this all situated, see if I can get the camera to squeeze in here. Come on, camera, you can do it. Let's make it bigger so I can see if it's working. Oh, my. Oh, my. See how that cute that is? Why it reminds me of, like, little kids' pajamas, I'm not sure. Maybe I should call this little teacup set the pajama set. The teacup pajama set. <laughs> They're really, really delicate. Again, I'm going to try. There. Come on, camera. You can do it. There you go. Yeah, they're really light blue. Um, light blue. They kind of have a moss rose color look to them, or moss rose, um, like, foliage, that's what it looks like. Let's see, there is little markings on the back, for those of you who love the markings. It's a two slash three, whatever that means, I don't know yet. I've not figured these markings out. And, uh, yeah, the shape, I don't know if you can tell, there's like a, it's a really cool edging. It feels, um, like, wavy. And then there is some waviness on the edge here, too. I'm just seeing if I can kind of capture it with the light. I'm sure I can. So it's it's a little bit of a, a deeper a dish saucer. All right, so the tea that I'm trying is by the Republic of Tea. And I just happened to look through this, like, little sample box that I have. A friend of mine gave me some... Um, different teas that she wasn't going to be drinking. So this one was is called Clean Beauty Beautifying Botanicals Berry Aloe Tea. It's a skin reviving tea, it says. It's got sea buckthorn berry in it and detoxifying aloe vera. Hydrating hibiscus flower. It's caffeine free and it's by the Republic of Tea. Republic of Tea. Uh, there it is, right there. Republic of Tea. So it's just one in here. So let's see what's in it. First of all, let's just see. I don't know what sea buckthorn berry is. I'm just going to be honest with that. Sea buckthorn berry. What is that? I I don't know. <laughs> it's not the one. It's not something that grows around here that I, I know of. And it's not one that I've ever really studied that I've come across. So new to me. And detoxifying, detoxing aloe vera. Aloe vera I love. I've been using aloe vera um, juice in a lot of my drinks, in my water, my cold water, and drinking that. I love it. There's all sorts of um, flavors out there. And I also use an aloe vera-based skincare product called Labrai. And so, I mean, aloe vera is good inside and outside. So what's in this one? That does have organic green roviost leaf, organic orange peel, organic hibiscus, organic rose hips, organic milk thistle, and here's another one that I don't know. I'm trying to read it. Organic pitaya? It's a fruit. P I T A Y A. That's a new one to me, too. Organic lemongrass, organic aloe, and the sea buckthorn berry. So there's two herbs in here that I am not familiar with, which is fun. Fun for me to see, and also it's going to be interesting to try. 
milk thistle seed is often used for like liver support and skin um skin support too in terms of the the liver helping to kind of like purify the help the blood system along which also helps the skin uh, rose hips orange peel so this is going to be an interesting flavor to me and other ingredients they also have natural sea buckthorn flavor in it sip cleanse and nourish your skin from the inside out this gentle detoxing coral hued herbal infusion contains a proprietary blend of botanicals that your skin and digestive system will love pamper your body with this clean caffeine free beauty ritual with delightful berry and citrus notes all right so i'm gonna take out the little tea bag it comes in a round tea bag that's cute that's cute see if i can get the color for you oh it is a little peach colored is that what they said it would be peach colored coral hued color it is an interesting flavor hmm it's good but it's just i can't explain the it does have that hibiscus um like tartness to it but it also has something else in there that i'm not familiar with and it's probably that fruit the sea buckthorn and the other fruit that starts with the pea pitaya So, that's good. It's good enough. It's not gross. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to find these comments here. Uh, sounds a little like my Zena's green tea with aloe, pomegranate, and rose petals. Mm. Yes, hibiscus is very good. And the citrus, it's got some citrus notes in there. That's for sure. Hmm. Clean beauty. Beautiful. It's for your skin. That's what they're saying it is for. It's for the skin. Well, this one is gluten-free. Organic. Almost all. Not the sea buckthorn berry. I think the sea buckthorn berry is a... I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's some sort of water-based well it's got the word c in it but i feel like it has some sort of um algae reference c buckthorn let's see it's used as a food let's just do a quick look over of this oh it's a shrub yeah buckthorn is a, a, a shrub that grows here as well but it's got a strong laxative effect and it is not really used. It's definitely not used in tea. Oh, the fruit of sea buckthorn is like an orange color. And it looks little. This is an interesting plant. It's in Europe and Asia. They use the whole thing. It's got these little fruits on it. They kind of look like little mini kumquats. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, it's, uh, let's see if we can describe the flavor here like it's saying. Oh, I can't see that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. It is not anything to do with an algae. Nope. It doesn't really grow by the water. Nope. It is a shrub. It is absolutely a shrub. So, that's what it is. It's like the color of this wrapper here. It's that orangey color. So that's a new one to me. I wanted to give this a try. It's got my thumbs up. Definitely is good. I think I would add... Um, oh, elderberry syrup would be good in this, I think, too. So give it a try if you're looking for something for your skin to help with the skin. The milk thistle is good for that. I'm also... I just taught a class for Grow Your Apothecary... The monthly plant lessons that I do. So I, I teach cl uh, a class on a, an herb each Sunday before the full moon. And we just did burdock root. 
And burdock root is also known to um, help with this with skin issues, psoriasis, eczema, acne, uh, boils, things like that. And uh, burdock root is also helpful for like the liver system and the kidney system. Burdock is like a blood cleanser, as they say. So it really supports the blood system and helping the body do what it needs to do in that liver system to filter things out and move things out that don't need to be in the blood system. And excess hormones and things like that. So people who have like acne issues, if they can be um, incorporating burdock into their, into their daily intake, it can be um, helpful. It also has lots of nutrients in it, vitamins and minerals. It has iron in it can be eaten as a food because so, the roots can be eaten as a food. It's called gobo in other places of the world where they eat it frequently. So it's, it's got a, a fairly mild flavor. And it looks like my screen is frozen. Hmm. So what is going on in the full circle herbals world? What am I doing coming up for offers. I'm trying to look to see here why my screen is frozen to see if I'm still even live here. Checking on my phone quickly. I cannot see you because my everything is frozen. Everything is frozen on my computer. Oh, am I still live? Let's see. <laughs> no, I can't even see the comments here. So anyways, what's going on with Full Circle Herbals? We'll just keep going. Um, November 16th is the Learn Herbal Wisdom with Archetypes. It is a 30-minute webinar describing how to work with the archetypes and learning herbal wisdom. And you may think, what do the two have to do with each other? Well, it's also about liberating the healer, priestess, and witch. It's really about going to the, the essence of why you're even doing what you're doing with learning, with using, with growing herbal remedies and herbal wisdom. So that's what's taking place um, November 16th. And then we're going to do a um, three-day workshop right after it. So the 17th, 18th, and 19th is um, going to be dedicated to each of the archetypes and how to use those in learning herbal wisdom. So if this is curious to you, interesting to you, please join us. Uh, the workshop is only $13 and I'll, I'm going to put the links to all those things in the comments here shortly. Uh, also, some other things that are coming up. I did do a podcast with Jesse Wolf Harden. So if um, you should really check that out, it's all about rewilding plant connection and plant wisdom it goes really well with the, the theme of the um, upcoming free webinar that I'm doing on the 16th. All right. So that's what I have for updates for everybody today. And I'll see you on Friday uh, next week for the next What's in My Teacup. Take care, everybody.